you may require like it should be super script just select the only the b and go here and select this one just give okay so it can be like this or even if you want b uh, to the bottom just select your b from the drop down again you can select this one just give okay so it can be done here and the next option we're going to see is like a table so select your rows here and columns here just give okay and when you pick it it's going to create like this and if you want anything to edit here just double click and activate your views like table so you can fill all your areas and whenever you want you can add the rows here like this even the column it can be added from the insert column tab so that's how it works and i'll just delete it i'm going to create one um, drawing i'm going to act this view create some dimensions uh, like this even if you want i'll just create a dia here dia angle and this value i can just measure it here in sometimes you may need like you want to control the position levels here so that can be done from here if you want that 0.1 you can do you can do it here you select your uh dimensions control and alt select go to dimension just give 0.1 so all changes to 0.1 position levels and if you want to add a tolerance just click here so it can be added here so this is nothing but your style and you can change your values here just feed it from the keyboard like this and we are going to see about this one is nothing but uh, reroute dimensions whenever in a uh, design industry like uh, they will be updating the parts frequently so once the part is getting updated and saved it in the background and when the next time you open the drawing from any of the plm softwares it's going to ask the update and uh, uh, it's not sure uh, the all dimensions will be there as it is when we created it may be asked for update when we give update it may be broken so that's why i'm going to explain it here now so for our case you can observe there is a two groups here so for example i'm going to uh, delete the top one because only for the top one we have given dimensions here with 2.5 so i'm going to delete one of the groups here go back and uh, activate your group so instead just go in, expand the sketch here so as i said we have given dimensions only for the top in the drawing i am going to delete the top one just exit the workbench as i already told you whatever the update we are doing it in the 3d the drawing going to get updated so from the top sheet i am going to give update here now you can observe like there is a color change in the for the dimension it is changed to pink so it is nothing but there is no element but only the dimension text left so in this case Uh, we have one more uh, slot left in the bottom corner so we're going to reroute this dimension to the bottom side so what you're going to do is just select this one reroute dimension then select your dimension now we need to select the two elements which was there earlier we are going to replace with first one and the second one so you can see it got updated with the new features so that's how we need to create the uh, reroute dimensions so for roughness values you can go here and add the symbol here from there just right click and you can add uh, all your values here you can feed your values here and change your symbols here if you want just give okay so it will be added here same thing applies for well symbols you can do it here so here you have one more option like instantiate uh, 2d component so it is nothing but there is no relation between your 3d component and still you want to add some symbols or customized shapes for your original uh, for your own company so in that case you need to go for instead of in the new sheet you have one more tab like new detail sheet just click this one so when you check this one you can see like there is tab added but in black is mentioned like detail tab so that is what mentioned here as a 2d component when you zoom it you can see the view is created already uh, whenever you want to create your own symbol you can just draw your symbol and save it as a, a default shape here that can be used all over the drawing whenever you want and just create your own uh, for example i'm creating my symbol here and if you want just like uh, properties you can change your name to the component name you can change it like a locator or something just give okay 
so you can add n number of uh, views here and uh, it can be uh, used anywhere in the drawing so whichever view you want just activate it and go for instantiate from here instantiate a uh, 2d component select your component from here and it will be added here you can do n number of times for different views like i'm going to activate this view again select your, this one and you can do it here and the one important thing about this one is whenever you want to change the shape here for multiple you can even do for uh, 100 times here you can um, do array of elements here you can place it wherever you want and if you want to edit any symbol here no need to do a single entity here again you need to go back to your sheet so here i'm going to fill like all the corners all the areas so then just double click it i'm going to fill some pattern here instead of hatching i just want to color it just give black okay same thing i'm going to do it here just give ok coloring and select your color just give ok so when i go back here you can see all got automatically updated here so that's how the symbols works for the instant sheet here so that's it more we covered almost every options here and in some cases you want to highlight your lines the different colors you can just do it and even line types you can just change it like this whenever you want to create any geometric uh, elements other than the 3d element you can just go and create uh, using the geometric iteration